just feel like that was just some whole long business like oh god what me <gasps> wow <laughs> Mm, oh my god welcome back to another sit down and chit chat video i'm gonna just sit up like that like why what did i fuck wait yeah guys welcome back um I'm happy to have you guys with me again. I never officially announced it, but I don't know if you guys realize the trend. I upload, I publish these videos every Wednesday. And then you realize? If you realize that, comment it down below. I never did like officially say, catch me every Wednesday or whatever. I was just kind of like testing myself to see if I warmed up enough. To be like, hey guys, alright, so I'm gonna kill out for that kind of video every Wednesday from from the internet. You know? Kind of vibe. Anyways, yeah, so we're here again. And I actually for this week I actually did a QA on my IG. I got so much questions as usual. I got so much questions. Thankfully the gear kinda shifted a little bit. I still got a lot of questions when we don't usually get now I can escape from that but i'm not gonna even stress on those because i already like talk about those stuff so many times already but you know what before i answer anything let me just do my eyebrows because i don't know if you're already oh by the way i'm actually getting ready <laughs> to go and film another video <laughs> yeah i'm not going out tonight I'm not gonna even do nothing to the top. I don't know if you guys are following up, up with me on my vlog channel, which I highly recommend that you do. My girl's channel is Petite TV. You have seen that I recently got my brows laminated. Gosh, listen, my now you know details right here. Go and check out Petite TV. It's in one of my latest vlogs, the one where I say I got my lips done. Yeah, because I also did. Uh, the whole lip blushing process and right now i'm in the healing phase where um, my, la my lips actually look darker so you won't even see the color that was truly deposited because i'm going through the healing process so it's 20 to 60 days before i start seeing that true color of what i got done in the procedure but you can see the color that i got if you go ahead and check out the vlog okay so I'm gonna link that down below in my description box. So, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna like, since I do the brow lamination, I really love how defined my brow hairs are and how they just stay upwards. Usually sometime before I did, I got it done, I would use some got to be and I use my spoolie to kind of comb it up. Cause sometimes you have one and two unruly brow hairs that just don't want to cooperate and they just be outside of the shape and I don't like that. I really don't like that. By the way, listen, I'm literally on my third week of these fusion lashes the the rate at which they're falling out is so slow i love it but i like the girl talented oh my god so big up she i love it i, did, I got it done in jamaica i'm going to prime listen i'm only doing this makeup for as i said another video i don't i'm not gonna have it on that long so i don't think i'm a prime my face is already moisturized on all that stuff but i actually think i'm gonna do my eyes first tonight because i want to do a little look Mm, I don't know. Mm, of course, neutral colors. I'm not going to add. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go into this Il Maquillage Color Boss Squad. Um, yeah, this is the multi dimensional eye color quad. Alright, so I'm going to do Own It. That's the shade I'm going in with. This dark brown hair. I'm going to use that in a crease. Anyways, let's jump into the corner. I'm going to the last time I'm going to do the time I'm all right, let's jump into it right now. All right, I literally posted this Q&A like three hours ago. <laughs> so once I'm done with this video, I'm going to remove this post so it doesn't get confused. I'm going to like, send a question and then be like, oh, you know what? even though I'm not going to get to every question because a lot of them are repetitive. Uh, da, 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 da. 
pros and cons of living in the USA versus Jamaica as a YouTuber slash influencer. So, okay, there are more pros living in the US being a being a um an influencer. There are definitely more pros because there are way more sponsorship opportunities. The demography on a whole it enables your uh, content to uh, get more in terms of monetization and stuff. But overall, I'd say the biggest part of getting paid as an influencer comes from sponsorships, and um, you know, you know, Jamaica is a third world country, so it's like kind of more limited. So you're kind of more limited to caribbean companies or just jamaican companies one and two international companies will come to you uh but it also depends on your reach so it depends on the kind of content you're putting out i don't know but that's one pro you get way more sponsorships um more people can just, just have a more potential to reach more people um and you know the convenience of getting packages i spoke about this in a vlog actually i don't want to be too repetitive but that uh, that's number one the the first thing i just mentioned is number one the second thing for me is definitely the convenience of getting my packages like you get your packages right to your doorstep or or however you set them up but at the end of the day you don't have to be dealing with uh nobody telling you you're going to have to pay a ridiculous amount of money to clear your packages i just feel like that's just some whole long business like oh god it's so stressful you know and it's then truly because for instance you buy one tv kind of price i say i buy things from black friday sale and when you ship it in you know, in jamaica or places in the caribbean because i heard other people would link me from other countries. I'm like, yeah, it's the same way here in Guyana or, you know, just other Caribbean countries. They'd be like, so I'm like, imagine you buy a TV for a price and you ship it in another country. They might tell you, basically, if you pay a high percentage, it's basically like you're buying back the thing. And when you come out to certain things, it's like you're basically a buy back. And that's just, I just feel like that's, that's discouraging. That's wrong. Honestly, straight up, I just not feel like that, right? I don't care. I don't really care. It not right. It do right. And it do have to be so stressful. Trust and believe. And I have my strong reasons why I say that. But yeah. So that's another pro for me. Um, A con. Living in the US and not in Jamaica anymore. It's just like I'd say in terms of vibes. Yes, yeah, so the vibes different. Completely. Completely. Like you have to really research and know where you go. Be bold where you go. And... I feel like, you know, when you do Jamaica, you know, if I have certain level of money to do certain things and experience certain things, they can't just build a vibe anyway, you You're so, it's kind of different. You're going to have to spend money, in my opinion, at least for what I want to do. That's just me. You see, Jamaica have unlimited vibes. The people in, like, you, you literally can be in your yard and you just hear vibes that below the <laughs> Like, literally, a car can have pause. And like, yo, it's just, you, you can go down the street and the people just always so vibrant, man. That's just how I feel. Um, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next question. Have there been times when you were ever cussed out by any influencer? Directly? No. I don't, nope. I've never encountered that. I've never encountered that type of experience before. But definitely, people disagree um and yeah i've had disagreements with uh other people so yeah i always get questions like this like how i stay motivated even when i feel like giving up honestly you go have them time then no get around it honestly sometimes i really i want somebody to tell me how they stay motivated when they feel like giving up because there have been times when i just be like ah. But honestly, you got to really have some strong goals. You really have to train your mind. It's really about training your mind. And my answer for these type of questions is always going to be so cliche and boring. But it really is the way of life. On days where I get down and feel like I don't want to do anything, I don't even want to hear this with me, I tell you right now. It's like, ah, shut up. <laughs> to be honest. But the truth like when i feel so overwhelmed and like discouraged i literally have to just ease myself sit down take a breather 
and come again. And if that means that the rest of the day may just not go to nothing, then so be it. Because if you force through that feeling sometimes, you're probably going to end up doing the thing and you're not do good and you're going to feel worse. So sometimes when you feel so discouraged, and even if it's not something that is not a, a matter where it's something where you have to do today or it's just over a period of time you've been feeling like this, you need to take a step back, reevaluate you know yourself your life these this situation that you're going through and you know because there's always so many other ways to do things or to get through your situation like it might not be easy once you have life there's so many possibilities and you should never give up like as i say just slow down take a breather reset and come again do i miss um jamaica and how is it living with your partner now um, of course, of course, I miss Jamaica. Like, you trust and believe, especially when we just did come here and it was so cold, and I was like, Bumba? I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. May I go back home right now? Like, it was crazy. To me. And then the fact that I was here and everybody kept on telling me that, oh, this winter is not real. Like, just no say that winter, yeah. It's not a real winter. That's why I kept on here, and then people be like, "Wait till next week." It's not going to be twenty in Jamaica. Then next week come, and they be like, "Wait till next week." And you talk about the going to negative, and you know, okay, man. Luckily, when it went to negative, I was not here. I went back to Jamaica. I'm gonna go back to Jamaica picky, but I actually had a wedding. Good reason, but I was also happy to just be back home. You know, of course, my mother and my sister. Because even if anybody that follow up with me on my blog channel, you know how close we are. And you know, it was just happy to be back so soon and stuff. And I, I actually escaped the coldest weekend ever because it didn't go back to negative once I returned. And now we're in spring. So, alright, if I'm not off winter, so let it be. I just hope that next winter, God spare my life. I just hope that it could probably be similar to this winter. But I'm also aware that, okay, it's a, it's a case of global warming. And so I do understand it would be better if it actually go back to being, like, in its regular state. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, but, um... Yeah, that was one of the hardest thing with adjusting. So that didn't make me miss Jamaica. Boy. That's and just other stuff that I already addressed on my vlog channel. So you guys should really go and check me out on my vlog channel because I really be, you know, just chatting it up with you guys and live, just letting you into a point um, with my daily lifestyle and stuff. So yeah, I don't know what I know, but I know what I really feel like. Stay. I just saw the one that I so called Halo Eye. I don't know. But it's all neutral here because I feel like, you know, for the most part, most of my get ready with me has been such like neutral looks or very soft. And that's kind of like my life right now. I'm just not into a bunch of colorful eyeshadow. I can't say when it lasts. Not even for Carnival the other day, guys. Jamaican Carnival. Guys, by the way, yes, I did go to Jamaican Carnival for all who is not keeping up. So you can go ahead and check out our vlog. I'll link it down below. But yeah, even for that, I'm never wearing a colored eyeshadow. Mm -mm. It was a whole neutral vibe, kind of similar to this. But what I did do was like apply gems to like half of my face. It was it was beautiful. I actually love that makeup so much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna really do the bugger. Let me know if you're still into like super colorful eyeshadow. And let me know if I'm relating to you with these looks, with these softer makeup looks, because that's kind of the vibe that I'm on. You know, I'm just not like doing too much. I might add a little shimmer here in the center. You know, bring it back to the classic halo eye days. So I just applied some concealer here to kind of like, because I want the eyeshadow to pop. Um, so, yeah. Alright, we'll move on to the next question. Has moving away from your tribe expanded you, taught you anything new about yourself? I've definitely learned that. You know what? I actually, I'm fine being by myself. Like, as in, for the periods where, you know, of course, my husband have to go to work and stuff because, you know, he works. And I, the two of us will work so much. But for the time, for the periods where I'm, like, at home, just taking care of the home and stuff, it's like, oh, this is not so bad. You know, it's not like I was never alone alone when I was back in Jamaica. But it's like, for the most part, me and my sister, even when my mother wasn't there, it would, my, me and my sister was like this. 
So it's like we both have been on that wave, by the way, because we like talk right throughout the day. Um, but like, yeah, I feel like I've discovered just different things that I enjoy doing and I think that's a good thing, you know, for the most part, that's it. Because trust and believe, guys, most of the times I am working. Your girl is a woman. Like, I'm not even over exaggerating. I work a lot. So, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm the type of person, if I should have a solid week off, I'm gonna start feeling like I'm a bum. That's just me. I know. But me can't take no long, long break. Like, if I'm gonna be on, like, even a two-week break, I'm gonna be traveling. That, like, that's just how I want it to be, you know? Because at least they're still occupied and doing activities. But just to be home and not doing anything and not productive, I can't do that. You know, I, I really can't do that. It's like, even if it was a case where I didn't have any sponsorship, I would still find something to create outside of that. That's just how I am. I genuinely love content creating. It's not just about the money. I mean, of course, I'm going to say it again, encouragement, sweet labor. So of course, you're going to love the fact that you're getting paid to do something that you love. But like, yeah. So I'm always working, but I, I definitely have developed thing to me where i do enjoy my company more and i'm basking in that energy now you know uh you know what it's so weird before i came here this is the next question a lot of people would be like when are you going to are you going to live in america are you going to live in america when are you and your husband going to move in when are you going like that was such a, a repetitive question to the point where i was going crazy i really didn't want to even do q a's anymore because i knew the type of questions that would come and it would just be like And now that I'm here, I see where I'm getting so much of these questions. Like, are you gonna live back in Jamaica? It's like, oh no, pull my one, we are not pull my now, yeah. Make up on our mind. <laughs> What's going on? But um, anything is possible for the future still. Like, I just feel like life should be explored and nothing is ever final. Um, even sometimes when you think it is god has different plans and so i'm the type of person where i'll never ever come on the camera and be like this is what i'm gonna be doing for the rest of my life or this is where i'm gonna be forever and ever and ever because honestly me not even more but for right now i'm sure about it and i'm just basking in that either way i think it's it was still life will still be good how do you budget as an adult or go about planning trips and saving for it so in terms of budgeting as an adult, oh my gosh, guys, you see, like everybody want to make good money, right? But then that's not the, making good money is one thing, but you know what's the next very important thing? Money management. Like, girl, if you don't know how to manage that money, you make all the money in the world and you're still a bum next month, next year. The end of the year will come in and be like, I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> yeah so as an adult i feel like budgeting is so important and for me personally i always create lists so i feel like doing spreadsheets and like stuff like that really helps like you have a specific structure of what your income is on a monthly basis even if it's flexible you, you have like a range you know um and you can you know write down your income write down your regular repeated expenses and you can know that that is what you're going to always have that's like your basic so i go back i go by that i go by that and i uh, i actually like before i go into a new month i always think about things i want to do places i want to go and stuff sometimes it almost work out that way there but like um at least you have an idea these things make you uh, kind of more aware of how you're going to be spending for that specific period also before you go into spending money for leisure i always say take out the money that you're going to save in terms of trips now i for sure know that I, there's a certain amount of trips i always want to do each year and that's since recent years I've kind of made it something that, you know, okay, we definitely need to take trips because I, I definitely want to travel the world. I want to go as much places, as many places as I can 
while God spared my life, you know? So I feel like it's so important to, it's very important to make time for leisure. It's not just about work, 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 you know, because one, we're not gonna be here forever. So experience as much things as you can while you can, okay? So I know from far away, so I'm a one of these, and so whenever I'm saving, uh, uh, it's all about percentage. So you have to split up your money accordingly. And I have a travel agent to help me. Uh, a travel agent that I've been using for like about well, two, three years now. Going down to three years. That's a lot of time to play. But yeah, she's so good. Travel station. I always mention her in my vlogs. Like she's so customer service A1. You know, she find activities and all of that from a do. It's not expensive. Like, so I feel like, because me reading now, it's, it's like so when you come on to deals and traveling and stuff, like, the options are endless so you know i kind of align myself with a travel agent it's easier for me when i'm ready to plan trips and stuff um yeah so that's just to tap into that just a little bit that's how i go about budgeting and um and saving so you see the vibe you see the little halo vibe yeah so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go on the mid portion with like this like golden color this is keep rolling notice when i really tell when you make up much because i'm just really like y'all know what the vibes is y'all know what the vibes is come here for a chit chat so i'm just you know answering you guys these questions <laughs> this question i stopped living by this question to be honest where do you see yourself five years from now honestly and truly like a while ago i would be like all right by the time i'm this age I need to have this and I need to have that. And when I realize that your life is not that perfect, it's not cut out like that. As much as you'd love for it to happen in that time frame, it, it almost goes so. And if it don't go like that, it means that you forget don't hard on yourself. And I feel like a lot of people get like that sometimes. And I get it. You might want to be like, yo, you want to get this in a five year period because putting yourself within that um time frame kind of pushes you to go harder to achieve those goals but sometimes it don't work out some so what i do is me personally yeah it's good to have your vision boards and stuff like that and know what you want for a specific period of time what you want to achieve but i literally i'm kind of like a, a I'm kind of like things that happen too too fast for me all the time but don't put a time limit on it and this not mean that it take longer for me to achieve because to be honest things that I thought that I wouldn't have or be close to having you know I I already have like I, I did I didn't see myself with certain things or on the path to having certain things you know yeah like and, and time kind of flew by fast still i'm not gonna lie because time doesn't wait on anyone you know everybody's so different and i'm mean, not watching a face i'm put myself in a five year i'm just living i'm just living right now and i pray to god that i make i make it to see tomorrow and next week and next month and next year and that's just how i live my life i i just have goals that i write down for each for each week for each month and I just keep on pacing myself accordingly. As how many tattoos do I have? How many piercings and tattoos do I have? Would I get any more? Um, so in terms of piercings, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's just my ears and my nose that's pierced. I was gonna pierce my ears more, but mm, I'm not evil. Like, I just realized that I've been piercing. Like, I can't even last me put everything out of here, you know? Honestly and truly, I wonder if they're still what more for. <laughs> Long time I'm put piercing, I'm not airing in there. But, um, would I get any more piercings? Once I'm gone, funny story, I, what, like, a while ago, I wanted to pierce my toe. But I'm so past that now. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna think when I do that again. Um, that was the only other piercing I wanted. I never cared for a navel piercing. Like so many people were like, "So why not pierce a navel?" I would never care for for navel um, navel piercing on me on myself. Isn't this gorgeous? That is stunning. 
actually oh that nice smell that smell that nice nice cookie hello man but yeah um i don't think i'm gonna be doing any liner because these lashes look so nice and you notice there's no follow that's what i love with these little maquillage shades they're so nice oh. Actually, really pretty. Okay, moving on to the next question. Okay, if you should go back to school, what what do you think you'd be interested in? Would it be art? I'd be doing real estate. Thing is, I'm this type of person. I feel like why limit yourself? And I mean, sometimes. You don't really have to limit yourself to be to only being interested in to one or two things. Like and that's what I've discovered with myself. It's like uh on this journey I keep on like kind of realizing that okay, I'm actually interested in this and I'm interested in that too. And sometimes those things that I'm interested in are not necessarily linked to makeup. Or anything that has to do with social media you know so yeah I'll go back to school for real estate for sure that's what I would go back to school for all right so you said you wouldn't do do it with a host tour I just know your style is a1 oh thank you thank you so much be like you're just about to me or for me the host tour but um I'm essentially yeah I don't think I'm gonna be doing a host tour because I even expressed in a vlog some time ago that mm, our lease is gonna be up soon like this year so I mean yeah um I didn't even do everything that I fully want to do like in terms of in, in this apartment um I did do a few like decor vlogs though like you can check out my living room decor and i did do this little like beauty room slash office slash closet space vibe so you can check that out but that's as far as it's going with this uh apartment and uh, maybe we'll move to the next um apartment ah i'm not guessing you guys all flat but not don't me don't quote me because yeah um all right so i'm gonna pause on the eyes now and I'll move on to my foundation because i not know primer i not know primer i just saw go i'm gonna just you know jump straight into foundation and this is the same nars foundation all right Somebody asked, what are three effective glute workouts? <laughs> you guys are asking me everything. Um, So, number one, glute workout, hip thrusters. <laughs> Change your life. Also, I love doing split squats. Split squats are really good and like bridges are also really good. Kickbox. Kickbox? Ugh. And the stronger you get, the heavier you lift really really help with building you know so and of course proper nutrition like that protein intake needs to be on point somebody asked the question you're jamaican but you don't like food item in brackets um but i like pig trotters <laughs> don't like pig trotters um when i eat saltfish don't like it um <laughs> But it is in my aki whenever my mom cooks it. And you know when I cook it, I still put it in there because, you know, um, my husband eats it and so forth. I just pick it out, you know. Um, uh, this isn't necessarily a Jamaican thing, but, you know, whatever. Conk. I love conk so but I not eat conk. Me not eat it. Some people like, that's dumb though because it's still in the soup. I love the flavor, but I don't want the texture of it in my mouth. <laughs> Um, what else is Jamaican though that I don't like? Dumpling? I don't like boiled dumpling. Fried dumpling? Yeah. Boiled dumpling? No. No, I don't like boiled dumpling. Mm. I'll eat it if I'm dying of hunger and the only thing they bought. But you're not catching me make it. It's not that I do what make it. It's just that I do like it. I can make it though. I can make it. But I don't like it. So I don't, what else? I can't remember nothing else right now. 
guys i love this wig so much it's a straight wig it's like butter but how do you remain so humble in a very arrogant world knowing you've achieved so much girl because they can all get taken away like that listen no let material things get to the head here and one thing with me learn it's i love nice things if you guys know me been following but i don't know but feel like i had a light in or something but this look a little lighter right now i went to jamaica the other day and i did get a tan so remember when i spoke to you guys in a previous video where i was trying out the foundation i was like you know because of the winter time and stuff my color did get lighter but what about that so so if it look kind of weird well i'll fix it all right but um girl you have to remain grounded um it's important to be humble but sometimes you have to know how, like how to because people think that just because you're humble and you you kind of just lay back and can't take a for idiot so there's a big difference like with just being humble and naive and just being humble but still like confident there is like a big difference you know and i definitely feel like you need to find balance where that's concerned but like girl I've seen too many times in life people where glorify just the material or just because they have this position or that get knocked right down either by just like the job getting taken away, the flow of money just got taken away or just by sickness. Like well, we're, we're here for just a time. We're not here forever. Be humble. Don't be a pushover though. But sometimes people take your little, your little niceness for weakness. You know, I've been getting this question a lot since recently. Like a lot of uh, people asking me how to become a hair influencer. And honestly, I... Let me tell you how I got into it. So basically, I've been getting here from as long as I... I think probably in a mo it was within my first 10 videos that I made. I can't remember the exact number. So I started getting weeks pretty early in my YouTube career. Um, and I, I'm not sure what qualified me. So for, I don't, I'm not sure what qualified me in terms of why the company approached me, but it, I guess it's because of course, I mean, the whole beauty feel. I think I probably did I do my hair once I don't remember but me as a girl I feel like every time I do a makeup look I need to change up my hair so I don't know if probably that was what attracted the company and I was like okay I was this literally I was so excited I'm like what me <gasps> wow no literally I was so happy like I was telling my mom my, my sister like can you believe that this is how this works is this how this works i was loving it <laughs> but i was like i made it happy and ever since i've been hooked i feel like if you want to get into something not necessarily just here you want to do clothing hauls you want to do makeup content you want to do um lifestyle content i feel like you first need to probably if you see that the company not coming to you, if you're, I'm speaking to influencers, like, you need to probably find a way to create content around that person. Like, do I want video installing a wig? So probably have to go, you have to go buy a one wig or you have to go, you know, just know say you go buy the clothes for yourself. And these are the ways you're going to attract, you know, the companies. You, you have to be about what you're trying to attract. You have to be living that life, you know, like that's how I look at it because that's how I treated a lot of stuff. Like for instance, like makeup, like I would not get certain collabs if I wasn't already like doing makeup content. So even with lifestyle, so that's kind of like how it works. And that's my recommendation if you're trying to get into a specific area for some people. Just like how the hair, these came to me at first, you know, it might come to some people easier than others, but simply put, that's what I would recommend. I had to 
speed it up a little bit because I'm not like I'm, I have myself on a schedule, so yeah. Right, so I'm just gonna set the face. I still set it because. Hold on, let me get my fan. Yeah, I set it because I wanted to like calm down the powdery look. I'm just gonna keep the face matte. Yeah, let's move on to the next question because it saved me for that question. I'm bad. Hey, I'd be going so much slower if I never pass. So let me reach a point on the face. Okay, so somebody asked, What's my dream vacation? Honestly, honestly, I don't have one dream vacation. That's the thing. I have this thing where I constantly be like, Life that I feel live. And I just realized that one time gone, I used to have like one thing where I'd be like, this is what I want. And then I realized that, but why would I only want that? Like, yeah, you, it's at the top of my list, but I also want other nice things. So like, I just don't believe in like having like one dream home. I don't believe in having one dream car. I don't be believe in having one dream vacation. You know, I, I, I believe I, I, I think you should have multiple nice things because life is there to explore and you should just live it to the fullest and achieve as much as you can with the time that you have. Okay, one of my great dream vacations though, definitely, uh, I'm gonna be going to Greece. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely Santorini. Yeah, that's one of, one of my dream vacations. I have multiple. There are much more places that I'm going to explore, so. Stay tuned to Petitu TV because we're going on an adventure, okay? But yeah, for real, for real still, that's how I look at it. If you could go back in time, what would you change? <sighs> what would I change? I'd probably... I'd probably start watching YouTube quick sooner. That's, that's probably honestly something I, just, I always think about it. I'm like, I'm uh, supposed to be doing one over here before. Because I did not know that there was a whole thing going on over here with beauty. I was like, what? I am late? But not more for a time still. But um, apart from that, I'd probably spend more time with some of the closest people I've lost in my life. Yeah, that's 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 something I would change. That's something I would improve on. And so I feel like I'm living my life like that now. Yeah. So simple. Uh, this is the uh, climax mascara from NARS. I'm gonna be putting on my lips with some lip gloss. Um, just some of the ointment that I need to be putting on. So let me go put it on and come back. How do I manage working out when I'm on my monthly follow? Honestly, I got something prescribed from the doctor because there are some times when I feel cramps more than others. But I've never been like, like super, what would you say? I've never really been in that position where i get like extreme cramps and i'm so grateful for that and regardless even on some of my worst cramping days which i think are pretty bad i feel like whenever i work out it helps it i don't know if that's just me but it actually helps to relieve the pain and i'll take meds as well like you know because i don't have to have to be sitting down with all that pain now Mm -mm. Um, yeah, I just take meds and I'm gonna still go. It's nature, I can't help it, I'm a can um pause life. You see how this nice? Just because I had to wrap it up so it has a dent in it. But it's so nice. I love it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have to still try to fight the feeling. Is this a dandon? Because I know some people were gonna treat it rough like Growing up, you know, barely can't move. So I feel like everybody's situation is so different. Like them feel cramps on different levels, bruh. You know, I think I need to give it some layers in the front door. 
I don't know how come it was trying so long. I, I just installed this wig last night. Still, so I mean. Oh, this is the hair. This giving. This butter. This butter. Okay. I love this. Nothing, be nothing better than when you get a nice 613 week and it's silky. Not stiff, coarse, and dead. This is full of life. I already did a video on this, guys. If it's already live, I'm going to link it. If not, stay tuned. That company goes hard like I'm gonna wrap this up because I have to jump into my next video oh my gosh um blah, blah, blah. okay so <laughs> as a media student at UTEC with a YouTube channel how do you keep so she's the student at UTEC yeah how do you keep um determined because right now my stress goes honestly I I, I see I kind of understand what you're saying to a little because my sister Shami as some of you guys know if you don't watch my vlog channel then you need to catch up but she's also a student at music and i see what school work the tour and there have been time for a very long time she's had her youtube channel for a couple years well and a large portion out of that time she did not create content because it's like when school come around and it's like really down in the nitty-gritty it really take a toll on her mentally and it's like it's so much work she can't really balance it with creating free spirited content that she would genuinely love so it, i i understand that it can be a challenge I, and that's how kind of rough because honestly i've always been big on doing youtube because you love it first because youtube is a lot of work i feel like for a lot of people that create content is like you have to love it to a point like we are doing it as our job this is how we make money yes but you have to genuinely love what you're creating and honestly if you're stressed out and I'm not saying you don't love creating content but I'm just saying that if probably you're stressed out from schoolwork or whatever else is going on in your life or whatever maybe you're not going to be able to put your best foot forward and, and worse if you probably feel like you give the content to all and you're not get the views where you want that is the part we need to talk about yeah because trust and believe i've been through that i i go through that a lot it's like i really don't make it stop me i don't make it stop me people even come and be like ah then you know she said it's not getting no views like oh yes still uh i'm gonna I'm stick beside it yeah if you believe in yourself and you believe in what you do you're not gonna stop i'm achieving what i set out to achieve that's the greatest thing and I enjoy creating this content. I'm not gonna stop to please nobody, and I'm not going to make views dictate how I move. Of course, we all want great views. We all want great viewership. That's the goal, right? Yeah, but just because you know get the viewership where I look look for upon a specific video, you're gonna make it. I know you can feel we're all human being and it can really discourage you but you can't make it make you stop so like just take a step back re reset refresh and come again you didn't get any more specific with your question but that's why I took it from the whole angle of saying maybe school work or stress you or whatever I don't know but like I think you just need to take a step back reset refresh you know cuz when I observe my sister, that's what she did. And what know that she's doing it more consistently. She's been consistent. You know, um, there was nothing I could tell her. Well, she did listen to a point, but honestly, I truly wanted to make up she might make up her mind, she make up her mind. And so she did such an do it, she such an do it. And then one day, one day, boom, she was like, Alright, I'm gonna do it, mega mega try off on YouTube again. And once she started, she never looked back and she's been consistent. She established a steady schedule and she hold herself to that and she's very she take accountability with every aspect of you know, just 
uh, when it comes out to creating her content and if she falls short, she will take accountability and she'll go wheel and come again. So maybe you just need to take a step back and just reevaluate everything and go on again and see how it works for you. But don't make views stress you out. Don't let it stress you out because I mean I feel like we've all been there. Like and as I say, I still go through that, so, and I don't let it get me down. I don't make it get me down, honestly, and truly. So, I mean, I think that's, that's the last question I'm going to take for today's Q&A. It's so many questions, but I feel for the most part, I summed it up. Um, yeah, oh, somebody had, had asked, I think I've seen a question where somebody said, if, um, they should look forward to any more family vacations, T definitely. They're like, they love the family vacations, of course. Definitely, what for stop it? What for stop it? No, no, stop it, girls. Stay tuned to Petit Sue TV because we are about to be lit over there. Like, <laughs> listen, me love vibes, you know? Me love go road, you know? Me love go out, me love travel. Me love them stuff there. And I'm so, <laughs> talking about it, I'm so happy. But, like, yeah, guys, just stay tuned. The channel is linked down below, so. Yeah, go ahead, support your girl. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Get Ready With Me. I'm smiling so hard, my face is starting to, to hurt. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, but yeah, this is today's little look, mm -mm -mm. guys. My never come do the Get Ready With Me in my room. Guess why? My bring it to Jamaica and left it. <laughs> I do have other robes, but. I really love that one. Anyways, <laughs> um, even if I did really intend it for me to, uh, for me to do, get ready with me in a robe to this day, it just never happened. Cause I would have wore another robe. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope I didn't bore you. Hope you enjoyed today's little chit chat. Um, as I said, any details you're looking for, just check my description box. And yeah. I'll see you guys in next week's video. And of course, you know, just keep up with the wig look them. Because, you know, I keep them coming. Like, I keep them coming consistently. Okay. Appreciate everybody that keeps up regardless. And your support is greatly appreciated. So, yeah. Just go and make up on yourself. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. It's in my beach. Say she act bad. Anytime I knock, I knock it out. No rubber band, no rubber band. Every time I put down, they show me that. If I know, relax, she got my back.